Hey everyone, this is Josh with another Bitcoin and blockchain tutorial available at chaintuts.com. Today we're going to be discussing the technical implement details of the BIP39 protocol that allows you to do mnemonic backups or word-based backups of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. If you're looking for a more high-level overview of these technologies, don't worry. We have a non-technical overview video available at the website, as well as a text article. So, what are the steps to generate a BIP39 mnemonic? Well, first we have to remember that the seed used to generate hierarchical deterministic wallets are indeed random values because they're private keys. We want them to be secure. So the first thing that we do is generate 128 to 256 bits of entropy. Entropy is random randomness, random values. It's a number that uh, hopefully is generated using a cryptographically secure algorithm. So for example, if we want to de generate a 12 word mnemonic backup, we would generate 128 bits of entropy as our seed to start with. The next step is to take the SHA-256 hash of all of that entropy and generate a checksum. This checksum is appended to the end of the entropy and it's used so that the wallet software can determine if this is indeed a valid seed to use for generating a mnemonic. It also uses this checksum to determine if the mnemonic is valid if it's being used as a uh, imported wallet backup. So depending on the size of our entropy, we'll append a different amount of bits to the end. And this amount of bits is n as the size of our entropy divided by 32. So for example, with our 128 bits of entropy, we divide this by 32 and we get a four bit checksum. In the case of this example, and this is the same example that's available in the text article, our checksum is 0101. We append this to the very end of the 128 bits of entropy, and we get 132 bits of total data that we're going to use to generate our mnemonic seed. The next step is to split our total entropy into chunks of 11 bits each. This 11 bits is specified by the BIP39 protocol, and the size of these chunks is the same no matter how big of a C you're generating from 12 to 24 words. You're always going to split up your checksum entropy into 11 bits. So for example, in this case, we'll split it up into uh, 12 chunks of 11 bits, since 132 bits of checksum entropy is divided by 11. Now that we have our chunks of 11 bits each, we're actually going to interpret these binary chunks as 11-bit integers. So if we use 11 bits as the size of each integer, this actually gives us a space of 248 numbers in our address space. So we have, therefore, a 248-word English dictionary that we map each integer value that we get from our uh, chunks of bits, of 11 bits each, into this dictionary. So for example, if we have this value that's 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, interpreting that as an 11-bit integer gives us 1,523 in decimal. So that's the actual index from 0 to 247 used in this dictionary to determine what word we're going to use. So the 1524th word, because it's a zero-based index, gives us the word salmon. If we look at another example, we can see that this binary chunk here, starting in 0010, gives us a base 10 value of 343, which is the word cliff. And the final example we have here is index 926, which is the word inherit. So by using this dictionary map of 248 words, we can generate a 12 to 24 word mnemonic. Our example starts off with the three words salmon, cliff, and inherit. 
Now it's important to remember that as part of a standard that's implemented by many different wallet technologies, the BIP39 mnemonic dictionary is always the same 248 words, always in that same order. So you can look up this dictionary in uh, any wallet that implements this and in the BIP39 standard itself if you look at the source code for different Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash implementations. So again, we have a text article available on our website that explains this as well. And the example shown in this video is fleshed out in detail in the text article as well with the same data. Now it's very important to remember that if you practice with this data and try to write a little BIP39 implementation yourself, don't use the same seed value. The seed value is private. It's used to generate many different private keys. And so anyone that would have this 12 word mnemonic would have access to the same funds and be able to spend them. So don't use the example to store any real money. As well, if you're interested on our GitHub at ChainTUTS as well as Josh McIntyre, there's a mnemonic generator written in Python. This is a command line tool that will automatically generate a mnemonic for you. Uh, keep in mind that this is an academic uh, piece of software. It's not designed to necessarily be cryptographically secure, although I do try to follow best practices. So if you want to play around with generating mnemonics and not uh, use a wallet software, you can check out that piece of code. As always, I hope you found this tutorial interesting and informative. And as always, thank you for watching.